Six years ago, I gave birth to my first and only child. A boy. Hello. I am 38. I'm 29, and I really love you. When he was two years old, my son began insisting on wearing only pink clothes, preferably ones with lots of sparkles and ruffles on them. When he turned three, he begged me to buy him some dresses and let him grow his hair long. That made the grandparents a little nervous, but we went with it. That one's a fairy and that one's a princess. Why is she a fairy and she's a princess? Because fairies are magic and princesses don't. That's the difference. And also, they can't fly and they, they can. Fairy fly and princesses walk. And then one day, in a conversation that I kind of knew was coming, but it still knocked the wind out of me, my child told me that he was actually a girl, not a boy. He looked me in the eyes and told me something had gone wrong in my tummy that made him come out as a boy instead of a girl. He wanted me to put him back. He begged me to put him back, to fix this mistake. He was three years old. I spent the following year resisting, trying to present alternatives. I told my child over and over again that he could continue to be a boy and play with all the Barbies he wanted and wear whatever he liked, dresses, skirts, all the sparkles money could buy. But my child said no. Absolutely not. She was a girl. What are your favorite things to play with? My princess things. Your princess things? Why do you like princesses so much? I just kind of do. Do you think it's okay for boys to like princesses? Uh, but I'm a girl. After 12 long months of making both myself and my child miserable, I finally let my little boy go. Goodbye. Hello, now let's do it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. We switched to female pronouns and told our family and friends that she was a girl now. She wanted a new name a girl name. At first, she picked Rainbow. I was relieved when she changed her mind and named herself after her aunt. So now I have a girl. Talk about princesses. A daughter. Actually, I need to hear about how spaceships fly. A really happy daughter. I adore my daughter, but sometimes I look at photos of my baby boy and I miss him so much. This probably sounds crazy, but sometimes I wonder where he is. It's like he was a dream I had one night and then morning came and I woke up and he was gone. And now there's this little girl in his place telling me that the boy was just a dream, just someone I imagined. As far as she is concerned, there never was a boy. Can you explain that to me one more time? What's the difference between you and Holly? She has a vagina and I have a penis. She I'm a girl with a penis and she is a girl with a vagina. You're a girl with a penis and she's a girl with a vagina? So now that I have a daughter instead of a son, what does this actually mean for her? And for me as her mother? Hank is a mama. 
pink is a moment. Other than letting her wear pretty dresses and using different pronouns, what has actually changed? What does this newly minted girl need to know? What do I need to teach her about how to be a girl? Girl alien does all the work while the boy alien sleeps and eats. Do I even know how to be a girl? The girls also have blue and purple spots. And if a girl can be a senator or an astronaut or a plumber, if a girl can wear pants and have short hair, if a girl can even have a penis, what is a girl anyway? Who gets to decide if you're a boy or a girl? Me!